Previously on Uluru and beyond, we racked up a 692 km day, driving about 8 hours, heading out through Toowoomba, stopping in Milmerin, Gundawindi, and then down eventually to Coonabarabran for the evening. So what's in store today? Let's take a look. Well, good morning. It's day two. We decided to get up really, really early this morning. I don't really sleep very much anyway, so I'm usually up at about one or two in the morning, so I decided to get going around about four. We set off early this morning from Coonabarabran. It's been a lovely drive so far. We've just done a couple of hours now, and we're here at Ningen. I think we're just gonna keep going all the way to Cobar this morning, hang out there and dry everything out drive the tent out because it was very very cold last night and there was a bit of frost. We might go and check out the mine there and maybe continue on to Wilcannia today, not really too sure. May even go all the way through to Broken Hill, not really sure. We're just going to see where we get to today. It was quite a large day yesterday, 700 and something k's and about eight hours driving so we'll, we'll see how we're feeling later on today. All right well let's get back on the road hey. There's a couple of nice little places here in Ningen actually. You've got the Big Bogan, which is a definite must see. Uh, you've also got a couple of old stagecoaches and whatnot here as well, which is uh, kind of nice. And there's a map, as we saw in the beginning of town, which lets you know where everything is and all the places that you can see here. There's a lot of little country towns that are like this that have got lots of really cool places that you can stop in and have a look at. And quite often you probably just end up driving past them because you know, they're a little bit off the highway, but uh, it's been really nice to hang out here for a little minute and uh, get some breakfast. All right, well, we're gonna get back on the road now. I've got to say the final stretch of road coming up towards Cobar is just amazing. Perfect, perfect tarmac. <laughs> dead flat, one of the nicest roads I've driven on. Just an absolute pleasure. And it's been fascinating watching the, uh, the scenery change and sort of the trees changing and everything sort of getting a little bit more towards red dirt, gum trees, bushes. You know, you can really tell that you're heading towards the outback. It's fantastic. I'll tell you what, it's been so, so enjoyable this drive so far and I'm only a day and a half in and I'm just loving it. Really magnificent. Alright, well we're just going to head into Cobar now and have a quick pit stop and uh, then go check out the mine. See you in a bit. It's been a great little drive down here to Wilcannia. There's been a lot of interesting things written about this place in the media and I've had no problem here at all. We stopped here for about 10 or 15 minutes just to stretch the legs and checked out the historic Wilcannia Bridge here. As you'll see here this bridge was built way back in 1896 and it's an interesting one because it can actually lift up. It dates back to when paddle steamers that were too high to fit underneath it could actually fit under by the bridge raising up. It's an interesting little place. And as you can see here, the Darling is full of water at the moment, which is quite interesting. There's been a few things in the media in days gone by about the water flow of the Darling here. There's been a lot of rain recently, so there's actually a lot of water in the Darling at the moment, which is great for the locals here, because they live a lot of their life around the river. All right, well, we're gonna keep going now. We're gonna head back onto the road again and head off to Broken Hill. Well, we just 
just uh, stopped off to stretch the legs in Wilcannia and we're on our way to Broken Hill now. Once again, it's going to have been a very long day uh, in the saddle driving, but we wanted to get as many Ks done as we could for the first few days, just to knock them over. Having never been to the Outback before, I've got to say, it's just amazing. I don't understand how people can say it's, you know, it's boring. I mean, I'm sure that a lot of the scenery is the same, but it's just epic. It's so amazing. And it's constantly changing too. It's something that you should experience for yourself, most definitely. I'm really, really surprised at how beautiful it is. So many people have been saying, oh, it's the drive is so boring, it's just the same thing over and over again, but I've been noticing in the evolution of the scenery and uh, the shrubbery and the grass and the soil and the rocks and everything, and it's been fascinating to watch the whole way along. Alright, well we're going to get back to driving and uh, we'll see you in Broken Hill.